you. First, let's give Paulie Negrano another hand. Thank you. And I'd like to thank the people at Mountain View College for making us welcome here. Thank you. And I think we have people from the Academia de Estrada School here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me begin with the business at hand. This is an early voting rally. You can vote in this election between now and the 29th. And I urge all of you to vote early. Secondly, we have to remember that, as in so many other things, Texas has a unique system. You're going to have an early voting till the 29th, regular voting on the 4th, Tuesday, and when all of that's done, you still will only have selected 65% of the delegates to the National Convention. 35% will be selected that night, election night, beginning between 7 and 7.15 at 8,000 precinct conventions all over Texas. So, if you support Hillary, you have to vote not once, but twice. Will you do that? Will you ask your friends to do that? Look, we've got to make this a party, not a problem. We're going to feed people, we're going to have music, and we're going to try to say, this is the only place in America where you can vote twice in the same election without breaking the law. Have a good time, boy. Now, let me just say to all of you, this is, for me, a fascinating election. It's going to be a big change election regardless. The question is, how do you decide for whom to vote? And I thought it was really interesting the other night at the close of the Texas debate when we really saw what the choice is. Because both of those candidates... Hillary and Senator Obama did a very good job in their closing. They were eloquent, they were compelling, and they made their case. You have to decide who's right. Because essentially, he said, it was very good. He said, I embody the change you've been waiting for. Because I am new, we can do more. She said, I have spent my life making changes for other people because I am a change agent. I will change your lives more. That's my job to make changes in your lives with you. Vote for me and we'll make a new future together. So, we have to decide who's right. But it's really interesting when you well, who'd be the best commander in chief? Well, Hillary would. Uh, who knows most about how to rebuild the military and get out of this economic mess we've been in? Who's got the best plan to provide affordable health care to all Americans? Who has the best plan to open the doors of college and community college to all Americans and make sure every person in this country can go and stay there with a modern program? Who knows the most about how to take care of the American military and rebuild it after home from Iraq? So, if you want real change, who should you vote for for president? This is what people have to decide. That you can make a compelling argument, and it certainly has swayed a lot of people, that the only way to change America is to begin again. But my experience is that in order to change going forward, you have to understand where you've been and where you're going. Otherwise, there would be no history classes offered, right? So the first thing I want to say to you is this. We could just abolish history in all of our schools if the past is irrelevant. I don't think the past is irrelevant. Number one, the choices you make affect the future. Now let's look at this. What's the fundamental problem in Texas and America today with the economy? 
Yeah, well, that's true. But why? Why has President Bush's policies hurt? Because we have gone to a point where 90% of the economic gains of this decade have gone to just 10% of the people. Half of them to the top 1%, bunch of that to the top one tenth of 1%. After our economy produced 22.7 million jobs in the years when I served, it's produced 5 million in this decade. After we had 8 million people almost moved from poverty up into the middle class, in this decade you've got 5 million people falling from the middle class back into poverty. After incomes rose $6,000 for most families in the last decade, in this decade, incomes are falling $1,000. This is not rocket science. You've got to give the economy back to the middle class and give poor people a chance to work their way into it. I believe that if Hillary is elected and her plans for the economy take $50 billion of special interest and put it back into making America energy independent with green collar jobs that will create millions and millions and millions of jobs all over America. If we're plan for health care, bring down health care costs and the only way you can bring it down, put everybody in big, less expensive insurance pools that every American buy the same insurance that ensures members of Congress and their families, my family and your family should have access to the same exact health care.